This is a look at the meme cable. What this basically does is it, it, it's just a charging cable. Basically, if you're trying to get somebody to buy it, just say it's a charging cable with an added bonus. Because uh, a lot of us, like me, I have a phone which is full of really important stuff to me. Loads of pictures that I've taken over you know, the last year or so, and I never back it up. And if I do, then I have to go and start looking at maybe cloud storage solutions. And um, to be honest, the, doing that can be a bit complex and you have to set up an account and keep an eye on the storage. And you have to upload it over your Wi-Fi and that uh, obviously drains your battery. And there's loads of uh, additional things that you need to consider. Now, this is the Android version. There is also... Uh, an Apple version. The Android version is 16 gigabyte storage and the Apple version is 32 gig. Basically what it is, it will mirror everything that's on your phone and uh, you don't have to do anything different. You just plug it in at night as you normally would do, but just use this cable instead of your normal USB cable and um, everything else gets taken care of automatically. You can see a little picture of the uh, setup. So Let's unbox it because it's still got the cellophane wrapper on at the moment. Okay, so here's the box itself. And as you can see, by the way, um, it doesn't just back up your photos and videos, although that is good enough in my eyes, but it also can back up your contacts, your calendar appointments, your messages, and your music as well, which is really good. Uh, on the side here, it says, your memories are your business. Safeguarding them is ours. We will never ask you for personal details or rights to your data for any reason. Your private information is always under your physical control. No hacker abuse, no corporate exploitation, no government intrusion. So when you've got your stuff backed up, it is not in some magical cloud. It is here, right here inside the meme. So here's the box itself. We've got some lovely bright green cable here which is very nice and uh, refreshing it's a little bit different to the normal um, sort of black cable or white cable that you get and this is the magic here and you can see here this is pretty flexible and um, the guys have told me um, we've had a chat with them that um, this is all under warranty by the way as well so if you do have any issues with this maybe breaking which it shouldn't do because it's all very flexible uh, but if this does get chewed by uh, a pet or anything like that then you can send it to them and they will get it all sorted for you but it mirrors everything that is on your phone so we're just going to go through the setup process there is uh, a little booklet here on a user guide um, but as is usual with cool smartphone I'm going to ignore this quite uh, quite easy to understand user guide I must admit it's fairly simple um, on how to use it but I'm just going to ignore it and we'll see exactly what happens okay so first of all this is going to be my charging point now you can as with any charger you can plug this into a battery pack you can plug it into your car charger or you can plug it into the wall charger I'm going to plug it into a little battery pack here. Now I'm going to plug it into my rather matted uh, LG G3 here. And we will see what happens. I'm going to start the charging by pressing the button on the charger here. And you should see it start charging here on the right hand side. Which indeed it does. So it's charging up as normal. And it's saying there's a media device. A USB accessory is connected. So let's just see if anything happens on there got quite a lot of uh, emails by the way and all sorts of other stuff just delete all this stuff connected to a USB accessory so let's have a read of the instructions then because it looks like I'm going to need them ah, and as I'm just reading these instructions this pops up install the meme app no installed apps work with this USB accessory. Learn more about it. So I'm going to click on View. And then I'm going to click Play Store. And then it should load up or take me to the Meme app, which indeed it does. So I'm going to install that. It will need a whole bunch of privileges to my phone. And that's going to download. It's a 20 meg app. Now, yes, okay, this might seem complicated, but it really is not. 
um, you're going to have to install something or do some sort of work to get uh, the backup started. This is going to help you choose what you want to back up. So it's installing here. I'm going to open it up. And we will see. Allow the application to access the accessory. Well, I'm going to say yes and do this by default because otherwise this whole solution is not going to work. LGE, that's me. So I'm going to press that. I haven't read these instructions or whatsoever. Hi, I am your phone. Okay. Hello, I am Meme. So this is very friendly, nice, easy setup. I'm going to have to set a pin, which I'm going to do off the screen. And I'm going to have to confirm it as well. So I've done that. And you can see here that my phone is on the left and the Meme is on the right hand side. And basically that's what it's doing. It's mirroring everything on my phone. Hello again. Tap the background to get to know me. Okay. So I'm doing that. Tap the background for tips. Yeah. Videos, music, everything from the phone is now being mirrored onto the meme. So let's see here. Tap the avatar or meme for super list. Tap memory tube for the memory meter. So the, there's a memory meter in the middle. That will tell you how full the device is. Swipe down for estimated time. Tap and hold to stop operate. Let's have a look at this. So if I swipe down, it's going to take 47 minutes. Now this is the first time that there's a heck of a lot of stuff on this phone. Um, the first time that um, this has been backed up. So I'm, I'm going to let it do its business. Um, I can press and hold to stop it, which I just did. Um, I'm going to tap the background for more tips. Uh, tap the avatar for a super list. So let's do that. Okay, so I've got contacts, messages, photos. So maybe if I choose contacts, see it's gone grey on the right hand side. So I'm going to not back up my contacts. Uh, I don't want to back up my calendar because I'm quite confident with it being backed up with Google. But my photos and my music my videos, yes, I do want those backed up and the messages too. So carry on with that. So that's a nice and easy, simple way of doing that. That's rather good. Um, I'm gonna see there's the meme icon if you need it. Um, right, so I wanna back everything up on my phone on the left now with this on the right. So hopefully if I um, find a way of doing that, there we go. It is now copying that up. So the first time you do it, it will take quite some time. And you can see it filling up here on the right. And you can see the memory in the center there, which is filling up as well. So it's doing its business and it is literally as simple as that. All you need to do every night is charge your phone as you normally would. Um, there's a getting started guide here and that app as you can see, you tap on the background and it will really give you a nice um, handy little how to on how to do stuff. So we've got super list, which I've just chosen there to um, check how uh, what I want to back up, uh, how long it's going to take, uh, stop the operation. I can disable category, which I've already done. I can cancel the automatic backup. I can drag it to back it up as we've just done and I can drag it the other way to restore. So if I have um, some data on my meme here, I can back it up to a brand new phone. Let's say my phone's been stolen or lost or damaged and I want to restore it. It's just literally a matter of plugging this in. As you saw, it installed the app. It told me to install the app. I installed the app and then instead of dragging it from the left to the right, I drag it from the right to the left and all my stuff is then backed up from the meme, which is here, to the phone, which is on the left here. And um, we can always get some additional tips, which I'm gonna try and do here. Let's have a look what else we can do. Slide left for settings. So we can have a look at the firmware. Uh, drag meme to copy. Tap and hold to erase. So you can erase stuff on there. You can set up the category, I've already done that. You can edit the name. So that's good, and they basically they're proud of themselves because they nothing is stored in the cloud. Everything is is stored on here, which is good. I'm trying to uh, get you some. It did say swipe left, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh well, 
there we go so it's as simple as that i'm going to let that run in the background now everything's been backed up onto the meme here and the phone is being charged so that is as simple as it gets you plug it in don't need to worry and if your phone gets damaged while you're out and about or broken then you can restore it all through the meme 16 gigabytes to uh, a user such as myself who has quite a lot of um, pictures and videos may not sound like much but if you are careful and you say don't back up um, all your videos let's say and just back up your photos then you know it I don't see a problem and uh, most users aren't like me most users will not have a colossal amount of data in their um in their phone like i do unfortunately i'm quite uh, quite insane and i have quite a lot of stuff um backed up on my phone and um well not backed up at all to be honest slide left for settings that's what i'm trying to do slide left hmm. okay well there you go that's uh the the meme cable the meme backup system and it's just a little hands-on uh view of by the way it's not going to take 45 minutes anymore now i've uh, reduced the categories that i'm going to back up it's going to take 13 minutes uh and obviously it's um it's going to take less time the second than the third time that you back up the first backup is always going to be the longest and going to take the the most amount of time so there you go that's a quick look at meme and the meme cable and the meme application uh, which you should be able to purchase now. Uh, I've basically got a link on the website which you can have a look at and uh, that will show you more.